Surviving the Seventh Night in Seven Days to Die. Video 1. Hello everyone, welcome back to Seven Days to Die sort of gameplay. Uh, what I'm going to do for you today, as soon as everything gets caught up, is, uh, well first I'm going to show you around my uh, latest build that I've been working on, just because it's on my own and, and stuff. Um, but as you can see, this is Day 7 in Seven Days to Die, which leads to Night 7 in Seven Days to Die. Now the problem with uh, the, seven, uh, the seventh night is you will get attacked by a horde. Uh, there is no doubt about it, no matter where you are, they find you. Um, this is one of the uh, at changes I made. There used to be a ladder here, that's gone now. Um, kinda got this cool little, I thought about leaving this like a desktop, I don't know, like, you know, like a store or something. So I got one of these numbers, I broke into some of this stuff and some of it was open. And, uh, this is my current residence that I was working on. It's really, uh, you know, it's nothing too fancy, but for me it works. Um, now I've got limited amount of time here before night is getting ready to fall, so I have to prepare, um, my strategy for surviving, uh, night seven. And seven days to die. Now I've already got some of this stuff, uh, ready to go. Close that and get out of here. Just like fancied it up a little bit there. Uh, we don't need the pistol barrel right now. Actually, I can take this and I can add it there. That's good. All right, so I got some hay bales. They'll come in handy, and I'll show you what, how, and and at what point uh, that's going to come handy. Got some wood spikes. Maybe I want some more wood spikes. Uh, I have been using cheat mode, but these aren't that hard to make. But it's uh, probably easier spikes. For the purposes of this, it's like you might want to build up your spikes before day seven, leading to night seven. All right, now one thing I'm definitely not going to do—that's actually stay in my uh, my house, uh, my uh, fortress, which you'll get a better view of here pretty soon. Because, as I said, they will find you one way or another. Uh, the zombies will find you, and they're going to enter whatever building you're in. There's just no getting around it. Uh, not that I've seen. So, let's go on here. It's kind of already in progress. I already spent a little time, put some fencing up here to, you know, protect it. Got some walls. Um, got it all spiked up for your casual zombie visitors who are not well uh, welcome. This may be a gardening area, I don't quite know, I, I, I just been working on it. This is the back entrance, since I can't use this entrance anyway. Um, might as well make it impossible for them to get in there. I haven't done anything with this side yet, but as you can see, this is kind of just like starting the progress uh, process. Uh, now, I already picked one of these buildings to spend the night in on the seventh night, because the seventh night is... Danger night. Danger, danger, danger. They're coming for you. Guarantee it every time. There it is. This is the one I chose. The purpose of putting this here is uh, if and when they get up there, I can just hop out and on to hay bales. Hay bales. Oh, I'm just going to build up a little... Uh, little falling point, so when I fall, I don't fall hard. I don't break anything, because if you got to run, you don't want to break anything. It's very problematic if you break stuff. So we're just going to uh, build this up. They're probably going to destroy part of this. Um, it's just the way it is. They will. They will destroy it. But I want to make sure I have a nice landing pad. So when I jump out of this roof, which there's a very good chance I'll have to do, I have some place to land that isn't going to kill me, which is nice. Uh, so let me go one more row here. This is me preparing a house for the seventh night. Now they're probably going to destroy a lot of this. Hay bills are super easy to make, and now you can pick them up. As you can see, I can just pick it back up and put it back down. Whatever, super easy to work with, and as far as my needs for tonight, they'll do just fine. Now I got all these spikes, so we're going to start setting up spikes here. The final spikes will be done right before dark. Um, 
just gonna, yeah, gonna start spiking it up real good. Because you want to kill as many as possible before they get in. Uh, they will get in. But the less you have to deal with when they're in, the better, right? Right. Now, another reason I chose this style of building is the top floor access. Uh, zombies aren't particularly good at climbing. Uh, ladders. Uh, especially if you put some impotence in the way, they can get stuck down there really easy, which is nice for me. Alright. Let's get that there. Get rid of this bush. There we go. Don't like that stick. I should, I should have plenty of spikes, but, you know, they're gonna come in pretty much any way they can. Uh, that's just how these guys work. They just come in. All right, I can't do this one because of this board here. So I could either remove that or I could just do this, which I might just do that. Now they're gonna have to get through this, but let's just put some spikes up. No, I can't put spikes up there. Never mind. Never mind. Oh, oh, didn't mean to do that. Don't hit. One thing about spikes, they seem to have increased the damage they do. So you want to be careful not to get caught on your own spikes. However, the goal is that they're going to break uh, the spikes down on their way up. In which case, you can simply use the path that they use to get in. Uh, yeah. So we're just going to spike the hell out of this. I'm going to pick that just to get it out of my way so I can spike that more. Now, I can't actually use this door, but they might. So this door is going to have to be uh, blocked off. I'm going to have to just spike it up. Doesn't do me any good anyway. Uh, so we're going to go up here and we're going to spike it up here too. Because they're going to try and come in one way or another. Alright, can't do that one. We can do this. Let's get this corner. There we go. Yeah, we're just going to make it very, very... See, it's locked. See? And so, instead of actually breaking the door, I actually reinforced it. Because that's going to make it harder for them to get in. The longer they're stuck on this spiky area, the better. Oh, got a bush. Hold on, let me just get that real quick. Yep. Pick you up. Alright, since I can't use this entrance anyway, I might as well just... Spike it up! Because they will! Just because I can't doesn't mean they won't try, because they're zombies and they're stupid and they just attack everything anyway. But you can bet one thing is going to happen tonight. They're coming. It's the seventh night, it's getting late, so I better finish up here on out. Well, it's uh, 16, I still got, like, what, three and a half game hours to do this? Alright. There we go. Okay. That looks pretty good. Alright, so I got a little more time. Oh wow, I almost got I caught myself there. Alright, let's hope I don't fall and break something on the way down. Uh, I might. And this is going to be my entrance. Because I can enter this way. Got to be careful on the way though, because uh, when you put this... I found when you put the spikes too close to your little single axis is like this, there's a very good chance you're going to walk on them yourself, and you don't want that. So, best to avoid it. Alright. Now, another thing I need... I'm going to just use up the remaining spikes out of this set over here. Because I want to make this as unpleasant and hard for them to do as I can. I mean, they're coming. It's the seventh night. That's that's in there now. That's what's going to happen. They're coming. All right. That looks pretty gnarly. That's pretty gnarly. I got a couple more here. Yeah. So. Yeah. There we go. Okay. Uh, that looks pretty good. I can work with that. All right. So now I'm going to start preparing the inside. I won't have much to do tonight. Um, 
Maybe I'll throw a couple out here too. Yeah, there we go. Oop. There we go. That way, at least if they're going to destroy my things, I uh, have a chance of, uh, yeah. All right. All right, I think that's, uh, let's see, I can, I can do a couple more. A couple more. They're probably going to destroy most of this anyway. That's just how it is. They will come in. They're going to come in. They're going to do damage. And, uh, they're going to try and eat you and kill you. Thus, my escape route. Now I just got to find my way in. All right, so back here. I didn't just lock myself in, did I? No, 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 good, good. We gotta do this first. For tonight, I will spike it up, because they're probably gonna break it anyway. If not, I can break it in the morning. Uh, let me get a door. I've got food. I should have plenty of food. I got blueberries, I got some uh, water. I'm good for the night on that, on that front. Only one left, huh? Okay, uh... Right, door. Let's make a secure wooden door. Sure, it's not the best door for the, the job, but I still have a lot of uh, prepping to do to get ready for the seventh night problem. There we go. Okay, let's just get that one all built up. There we go. Um... Alright, since I can't use this door anyway, if they do come in this way, it's not going to be good for them. So, I'm going to take that. Nah, we're going to take that. They're going to have to destroy it if they want to get in. So, I'm going to spike it up here. If they come through this way. Key point is a probably do not paint yourself in a corner kind of thing, you know? Uh, I'm trying not to paint myself in a corner. All right, we're going to put that one there. They're probably going to break into these floors. Oop. Okay. Actually, I can use these for a bunch of other stuff, actually. Slow them down a little bit. Why not? They're going to come up the stairs. That's pretty much a guarantee, so go ahead and spike up below the stairs. Uh, no matter which way they try to come in, they're gonna they're coming through there for sure. Now I don't know which one of these doors they're gonna use, uh, so I'm just gonna stack up some of this, just slow them down a little bit there. <laughs> Believe it or not, that'll probably help. Okay. Um, All right, let me get a couple spikes out here. I can't even use this way yet anyway. There we go. Get some of those. If they come in this way, I'll have this way blocked off. Uh, there we go. Now... The key to this strategy working is, without getting yourself in a bind, okay, is that they have to come in one way or the other, and they're going to find a way to get to you. Yeah, yeah. Of that, there's like no doubt, basically. Um, so we're staying up here tonight. I'll do a little time lapsiness here. Be a relax a little bit there. I'm going to grab this bed. I have no room for the bed. There we go. Okay. Okay. Uh, now, this is handy. The new... Let's see here. The fact that you can still do things kind of when you're on the ladder. Super handy. Okay, I'm out of spikes. That's all right. That's all right. Now, I want a trap door. A wooden hatch.
Okay, that should slow them down a little bit. Let's go ahead and get that set up. They are coming tonight. That is a guarantee. I guarantee. Now, as you can see from up here, I've got a nice little jump down there. I will not break any legs when I do it. Very important. All right, let's make a door. Uh, your wooden door. Yeah. I'll put you right there. If I am forced to retreat to this, I might want to have some extra spikes handy. Go ahead and make some more. Uh, by the way, they changed um, the button to get to your cheat mode, whatever, pick up all your stuff. Do I want spikes? Do I want more spikes? Yeah, I probably do, even though if I don't want to use them right now. If they get up here, I want to make it very, very difficult for them. I'm hoping that this particular strategy is going to help me buy the amount of time I need to get out of here safely. And even if they don't get all the way up here, which they will, I still have this escape route. Theoretically. As long as they don't destroy everything out there, we should be good to go. Okay. Uh, looking pretty good. I still have like an hour and a half to deal. Maybe I'll eat something for a second here. Do some crafting, perhaps? Yeah, I can do a little crafting. Kill some time. Oh, didn't mean to do that. There we go. Do I even need this wooden club? No, I don't. No, I don't. Okay, what else might I want to work on? Good on feathers. I got a decent amount of bullets for now. Um, I did end up getting a shotgun this time around. Let me get one of these. You could juice. Let's eat some of this here. I've already been up here and I scouted it. So, pretty sure this is a good location. It's been very quiet in this area because I've been wiping it out. Like I've been here for six days. So there really isn't anything left uh, for me to have to fight until tonight. And I guess they have this new uh, heat index, they call it. And uh, that means the more time you are at a location, the more things you build, uh, stuff like that, the better, uh, the more likely that you're going to get zombies coming around, sniffing around, the screamers or whatever, the uh, spider zombies or whatever, they uh, might... They'll scream and make noise, and that'll attract hordes. There are still plenty of hordes in this game, believe me. And uh, if you can avoid them, that's probably better. There's my uh, my house from the uh, other roof. Super handy. That's pretty cool. Okay, but this is my last-minute, last-ditch escape location. They will come tonight. I I, uh, I can pretty much guarantee that shit. Might as well get some metal. Yeah, let's do that.